Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I wanted to put on a full face of new products. I have a bunch of things here that I'm really excited about. I finally received the new Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust Duo Blushes. They came out with three shades. I also received some things from Nabla, Bobbi Brown, House Labs, Makeup Forever, all these things that I'm really, really excited to try on. Not all of these things are brand new to the market. Most of them are just new to me. So I'm really excited to see how today's look turns out. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. First things first, Bobbi Brown sent me a very lovely package and I'm so excited to finally test this out. It's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I don't know if my mom uses this. My mom loves Bobbi Brown, so she was really excited to see that I got a package from them. But I think I've only tried the L'Oreal dupe of this, but I know this is good for drier skin types. I do have an oilier skin type, so we'll see. But I have been having some dry issues around the outskirts of my face just because I'm in the process of healing. It's so funny because I just recently re-downloaded the dating apps. <laughs> I like Bumble, Hinge, just Bumble and Hinge. That's it. I don't like Tinder. It's too dirty. I was chatting with this guy and I asked him what his skin type was. <laughs> and this poor kid, he said, my skin is very fair. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a new product from Nabla. It's the Viper Lip Plumper. There's no snake venom in here or anything like that. It's completely vegan. It's just a lip plumper, I guess. Uh, it has a really nice packaging. I love the snake. Kind of gives me, I don't know, like Gucci vibes a little bit. It's like a little scroll up situation. It smells so good. It smells as though like a girl wearing a really nice vanilla perfume and her girlfriend who is wearing a like a perfume kind of similar to like a woodsy burnt good smell. Walk by a group of men who just smoked a bunch of cigars. That's what this smells like. I can already feel the burn. It hurts. <laughs> so for my foundation, I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation, Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So that's fun. I'm using the shade N042 Beige. So I'm gonna just take some of this foundation with my Royal Lignico Complexion brush. Ooh, that's a little... Oh no, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, so it's just like a little skin tint here. Why are you guys so far away from me? The smell of this with this just is not a friend. It's the combination of them together smells like eggs. <laughs> eggs. I smell like eggs. My lips hurt a lot. <laughs> Have I tried that many lip plumpers in the past? Not really, I think I've only tried the Too Faced one. I'm really scared to work around my lips because I don't want to spread this and get like a plump nose or something. <laughs> uh, I should have did this after foundation. That's a really pretty base though. I really, really enjoy that. That's something I see myself using a lot and it kind of self-adjusted to my skin tone, hey? Like even just now, it's, do you see it? It goes on so pale and then it, completely self-suggests. Is that a thing of this? I'm just going to pat over everything just to really push it in, make it more skin-like. That looks really, really good. I really like the combination that I've got going on right now. I think it looks very beautiful, very glowy. Everything just looks softened and nice. None of the foundation is grabbing onto anything at all. Here, I'll give you guys a good close-up. As always, no blurring filters. Becca recently came out with some under eye brightening correctors. I think this has already been out, but then they, I don't know. It wasn't available for a while because I know I tried to buy one. They recently sent this out to me, so I'm assuming they changed something about it. I don't know, does it look different, everyone? I know some people loved the old one or hated it. This is the shade light to medium and I did not get sleep last night. I don't know, I've, I've just been having so much fun just chilling by myself at night. <laughs> that sounds so lonely, but just night owl things, I guess. I'm just gonna press it into this area right here where I have a little bit more darkness than usual. I definitely don't have like the biggest dark circles, but might as well. That looks really good. I like that one 
definitely better than the Charlotte Tilbury one. That's the only one I have in my collection. But sometimes that one can come off kind of chalky. This one's very dewy and almost has like a grip to it. So I feel like it's going to really hold on to the concealer. I'm gonna have to continue testing that out. So far, loving the base. I don't have any new concealer, so I'm just going to use the milk one because I'm almost finished it. I took out the stopper, so I have a little bit more product. My lips. <laughs> I think they're definitely plumped and look how red they are. It looks like I'm wearing like a lip tint. It's so painful, you guys. Like you have no idea how painful it is. I don't know if if you if you're really desperate for like a 20 minute time frame of plump lips, I mean go for it. But I don't think lip plumpers are my super favorite thing. I'm just going to take some of my Pat McGrath under eye powder just to sweep it under that area right here. And then we're gonna move on to some more newness. It's been probably around 10 minutes that my lips have been burning off. I'll give you a good close up. Maybe I'll do a little before and after. House Labs recently came out with these duos. So they have some bronzer highlighter duos and some blush and highlighter duos. The packaging looks exactly like Deck of Scarlet's packaging, like identical. Like I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They do have more shades. They just sent the ones that cater to my skin tone. So here are the two bronzer duos. This one looks like it has more of a cool tone aspect. This one looks like a summer shade for me. And then for the blushes, I have three here. This one looks so beautiful. I really like the tone. This I don't think I'll use. To pinky. This is Rock and Rose and All Night. And this last one here is kind of cute. It's more of like a powder pink. This is Bouquet and Ribbon. This one though looks really, really beautiful. Flirt and Flame. I'm gonna have to put that to the side to see. For bronzers, I don't know which one would suit me best right now. I'm going to use the lighter tone in the bronzer and highlight. This is Desert and Dawn. And the other one here that I have is Kindle and Ember. I'm first going to dip into the bronzer side. Kind of more of a powdery formulation. I just kind of dapped, dapped, tapped and dabbed in there. This is a Sephora Precision Foundation Brush. They recently have just uh, repackaged it and it has a different handle. So link down below if you're interested. It's coming off a little bit more rosy on my skin tone and it's a little bit patchy. She said, bronzer helmet today. I don't know why I went so ham with that, but. Okay, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Like I feel like there's nothing really wowing me or I don't really feel like there's anything special about this bronzer. All I know is that my lips burn. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch the highlight here. This one actually looks really nice. It feels a lot like the Deck of Scarlet highlighter formula, which is interesting. They might not have the same manufacturer, I don't know. But I'm just going to put this to the side for a moment because Melt Cosmetics launched these Digital Dust Blush Duos, and some of them look like they have a highlighter in them, and I feel like I'd be more inclined to using this rather than the House Labs one. But here, I'm gonna hold up these three shades because they're so pretty. These are some beautiful, beautiful products. Like the packaging and the impress in the powder is so beautiful. Like, look at these. Look at that little bee. Oh, that's so nice and rich. It's beautiful. Ooh, that's this color right here. These feel really nice. This is the peachier one, which I think I'd use the most. Ooh, that is stunning. Right there, and the lighter side would be a nice golden highlight. Oh wow, this is going to be, I wish this came out in the summer. That would have been such a hit for me. And this is that golden-y one. Oh, so nice. I would probably use this one as an eyeshadow. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this shade, Honey. This is a Smith 115 brush. And I'm just dipping into this lighter tone right here. My lips are so red that I feel like I can't tell how the makeup's looking, <laughs> but that's kind of cute. I will say that it looks like I just put a highlighter where a highlighter shouldn't go. It does really, really intensify my texture right here. Like it makes my pores very, very defined. Like look at that. 
I don't really have that with anything else. It looks like it very much dehydrated my cheek. I might try this shade as my highlighter to see if this is more of a highlighter formula. Yeah, it definitely has a blushy undertone. It does not look like it's going to have that in the pan. I think I just made it, oopsies. Yeah, these are very, very glittery. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's like pure glitter. I'm gonna try to take that down. I'm gonna try the highlighter now from the duo. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. It was going so good, it was going so good, and now it's going so bad. I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount and just scatter it around my face. That's very, very, very intense. I can't really tell if it's like a really good formula or what. I feel like it looks pretty good if you really enjoy a very dramatic highlighter. I think you'd like this. There's no glitter in this formulation, which is nice, and it doesn't look like it's texture enhancing. Now I'm going to quickly do my brows off camera. I'm also going to prime my eyes real quick, so please enjoy the brow intermission. So before I get into the eyes, I forgot that I received these Bobbi Brown cream blushes and I've heard from so many of you that these are some of the best blushes out there. So maybe this is going to save my cheeks because I really don't like what's going on on them right now. <laughs> so I'm going to try it out. I got two shades. I got the shades Powder Pink and Fresh Melon. I think I'm gonna go in with Powder Pink. This one looks a little bit more like a fall tone. So I'm going to take this brush. This is a Moda Pro angled blush brush. I know I'm not gonna get like the most accurate representation of what this looks like just because I'm layering it on pure glitter, but hopefully it's just gonna help. That's a really cute color. <laughs> so now I'm going to move on to the eyes and Dior sent out their new eye palettes, which are so cute. Here's one of them. This one's definitely more on the editorial side. Some cute colors. This one is a little bit more up my alley, kind of a little bit more on the everyday, definitely very summery, very cute. This one is another editorial one. It's all a bunch of blues. That looks really pretty. I'm not gonna use this one just because I used blues in my last video, but oh, this is a cute little blush. I didn't know that. I'm gonna put that to the side. <laughs> and the last one here, which I think is the winner for today, is this beautiful one. It has a lot of beautiful plum tones. I'm gonna use this one. This is the shade 689 Mitza. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna Google that real quick. Mitza is named after Dior's muse and friend Mitza Ricard. She is elegant, feminine, and mysterious oriented. So I think I'm going to take this matte shade very lightly first. I'm going to try to diffuse it throughout the crease. Things may get a little smoky. She's a little patchy, a little bit patchy. And then I'm going to build that up on the outer portion. These feel drier rather than the backstage palettes because I feel like it's kind of rubbing off in some areas and it's kind of having a lot of fallout as well. I really like this color though. It's very fall-esque. I think it's starting to look a little bit bruisey. <laughs> I'm going to take the center shade which has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm gonna pop that onto the center. It's a cute tone. It's not as shimmery as I thought when I swatched it. It was a little bit more glimmery, but I'm going to take this shade, which looks like it has some nice dimension to it. I'm gonna pop that in the center center, which didn't do anything. I'm just going to dampen a brush to see if it's worthwhile. It doesn't even apply nicely wet. It's just very subtle, which I guess some people really, really like, but I was expecting it to be a little bit more impactful, especially after dampening a brush. It's just very, 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 very non-existent. I'm gonna just pop that shade right in the inner corner alone. Yeah, like there's no payoff. It's kind of weird. This is just a very, very dry, dry, dry palette. And I'm just like debating if it's even worth 
popping it to the side or if I should try something else. I would say that these palettes are for sure a no-go, especially for the price point. I feel like the quality is really, really not there. Like the quality in this one, Amber Neutrals, is so much better. These are so creamy and nice. So I'm just gonna quickly catch this eye up to speed and I will be right back. So here are the eyes all finished. The mascara I used was the Charlotte Tilbury Super Black Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I didn't have a new mascara and I'm still testing this one out. This is my, my third time using it. I really like this mascara. That's all I can say for the eyes. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, but now let's move on to the lips and then we're finished. I guess speaking of the lips, they definitely gone down. It's not as fiery, but here's the final results <laughs> of my lip plumper. I think it definitely worked. Like I feel like my lips look juicier. It's very, very spicy, super, super spice. Um, but now for the lips, I have this right here. I wanted to, oh my god, I'm just not gonna look cute at all today. This went very sideways. Okay, it's not the worst I've ever done, but it's also definitely not the best. We can all say that. I wanted to really try these Makeup Forever Rouge Artist lipsticks. They have fun packaging, and then when you take off the lid, it's just like a normal bullet lipstick. Hopefully one of these tones suit this look. Perfect, that one's good. I have some of that uh, matte color all over my face. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But I'm going to use this shade. It's the shade Ignited Lava. Oh, I like that name. Ooh, what a smooth formula. That is a gorgeous shade and it's so thin. That is a beautiful lipstick formula. I don't have a lip liner that would suit this one, so I would have to purchase one. But I really, really like this formulation. It feels like nothing on the lips. I really like the texture as well. It has a little bit of a shine within it. it. Feels really, really nice. Super thin, very lightweight. It feels so, so comfortable. And it was very easy to glide onto the lips. I didn't have any issues with creating a lip line at all. That is a winner for today happy about that so now I'm going to yeet this headband and here is the final look I really like the way that looks the eyes were a mega fail for me today so here it is what do we think let me know I'm now just going to quickly gather my thoughts and I'll give you my final opinions final roundup of the products I used today I kind of look like a vampire kind of like it kind of like it Starting off with my favorites, I liked how this felt under my makeup today. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I think this was a plus in today's video. I'm excited to continue using this and I think it's gonna be fantastic during the winter. I finally get the hype now. I did it for so, so long. Everyone loves this, it feels like, but I'm happy I finally have one. Um, yeah, recommend it, feels good. I'm gonna continue trying it out. Of course, all of these products will be in my October roundup. Oh my gosh. October. Hello. Moving on. I really really enjoyed this foundation today I see myself using this one a lot. It immediately impressed me I love how it just softened the appearance of my acne scars I have going on right now and it also smoothened out everything It didn't attach to my drier spots and it's not making me look super oily It's just like a perfect foundation for me at this time and it also has SPF 40 which is really exciting uh, so it's a nice double up on that so I'm going to continue using this I haven't worn this for that that long probably about two hours or so and it looks fantastic as of right now it just looks like skin which is really great um, I just I'm gonna have to continue using it before I give you my final thumbs up moving along I actually really really enjoyed this brightening under eye corrector. I didn't think I was going to be actually wowed by this product, but my under eyes look so good and brightened right now. I really, really like this texture as well. It's a nice balmy texture. It almost feels like the Glossier concealer, that kind of a texture. So it does really grab onto the products you layer on top of it nicely. And it provided a nice base for my eyeshadow and everything like that. I'm really excited about this for the days where I have those sleepless nights. So this is another product I would like to continue trying out before giving you my final go ahead, but I really, really like it. I feel like I'm going to be using that a lot. Moving along, this is the Bobbi Brown blush. 
I really like this color and it definitely saved the day and it looks amazing on right now and my skin looked so incredibly textured and bad before I added this so I can't even imagine what this looks like on its own. I really like this texture. It doesn't feel like a lot of cream blushes that have been coming out onto the market recently. It just doesn't feel balmy or sticky at all. It just feels like a powder blush on the skin. I don't know. Interesting. Excited to see how it is on its own, but I'm really excited about it. Next, definitely these lipsticks. Really, really excited about them. I have three colors here that I think are very cute and fall-like. I've been trying to find some new fall lipsticks because I really want to make another favorite fall lipstick video, and I think these are gonna be in that video for sure. Here are the three shades I have. Really, really cute, very, very fall. I really like that Ignited Lava shade. I think that's my favorite out of the three. The orange one is called Subtle Cider and the middle one is Burning Clay. Very high hopes about that. I like how they switched up their packaging. It looks a lot more interesting, but it's still very sleek. So it wouldn't be annoying in a makeup bag or any situation like that. So now moving on to my last, I guess, favorite, and I think it's a favorite because it worked very well, and that is the Nabla Viper Lip Plumper. I'm not a super fan of lip plumpers. This one worked like a lot, and I don't know if I'm going to be using it that much, but it worked so well. This one's definitely the most intense lip plumping product I've ever tried. It is insane. I've tried a few lip plumpers and some glosses that say that they have a lip plumper, but sometimes I just think it's just a good marketing tactic. But this one, if you're looking for something to give you some more juice in your lips, I think this one is really a good option, I guess. I don't know how much I'm going to be using it, but I was impressed on how well it worked. <laughs> so now moving on to the products I disliked. My biggest disappointment today was this eyeshadow palette. I was really excited for this one just because it looks so lovely in the little palette here. Looks like it has a lot of dimension. It looks very soft and beautiful uh, just as a quick and easy eyeshadow palette, but sadly everything just was super dry and I don't know. It just doesn't look impactful at all in the eye, very hard to blend out. It just looks bruisey or something and I don't like it, okay? So this one highly do not recommend. Following up with that, this is the House Labs bronzer and highlighter duo. I think this just doesn't align with my preferences that much. The highlighter is too intense for me personally and the bronzer just didn't really wow me. I feel like if this was in my collection, it would just sit there for months on end without any use. I have a lot of other bronzers that I find to be a lot more impactful and just a little bit different or dimensional. This, I just feel like the quality isn't there, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, just a little bit disappointed. I will have to try out the blushes in another video, but speaking about that, these Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust Blush Duos. I was very disappointed in these as well. They're just like little glitter bombs, which is too bad. I might save them for eyeshadows. I have a couple of them that I just use for eyeshadows from the past, like the one that came out in the Day of the Dead collection they had with the skull imprint in it. I love using that as an eyeshadow topper. I might use these for that, but mm, they're just a little too glittery and not my favorite. On the cheeks, they just look like highlighters and I don't really like that look. So today we definitely started off really hot and ended really hot with this lipstick. A lot of products today were just not my favorite, but that's okay. We can't be winners all the time, but I am really, really excited about all the base products I found today. I feel like those are going to be superstars on my channel. So with that said, that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. I appreciate you guys so very much. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out very much. I'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below as always, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.